Hey guys, this is Jason. It's uh, February 28, 2012. I wanted to bring you an earthquake update video. I was sitting here looking at the earthquake map just a while ago and I was noticing how crazy all these earthquakes were today. Um, I'm just going to scroll through a couple of them here. There's a lot of them. 12 hours ago, 5.5 right off the coast of Japan. Um, 5.4. Now remember, the larger the circle, the larger the magnitude quake. The smaller the circle, of course, the smaller the quake. But a majority of them are huge. And this is all within a 12-hour period. we got a lot over here in the Middle East. But rather than just pinpoint every, every one of them, I'm just going to show you and scroll down for you to see. Now remember, this is all within a 12-hour period. Now granted guys, I'm going to show you another uh, article by spaceweather.com right after this, but we just got hit by two solar flares and we got, actually got a G2 class geomagnetic storm going on right now. And uh, when we get when we have a bad geomagnetic storms or get hit with major solar flares, it causes a lot of seismic activity. That's just the last 12 hours. It's crazy. 12 hours worth of earthquakes. I'll just scroll back through them real quick. I'll show you that article from spaceweather.com on the flares. Alright guys, here's that uh, article from space.com. Uh, it's dated uh, February 27, 2012. It says the sun unleashes five solar flares, eruptions in two days. It says, things on the sun have certainly been heating up. Our closest star unleashed five solar eruptions in only two days in the last week, producing extraordinary northern light displays for lucky sky watchers over the weekend. It says, the solar storms flared up between February 23rd and 24th and exploded from nearly all areas of the star, including the bottom, I mean the top, bottom, left, right sides of the solar disk as seen by space-based observatories according to NASA scientists. In fact, four of these outbursts came within a single 24-hour period. It says, one of these eruptions churned up out an impressive magnetic filament in early hours of February 24th. This triggered the first of two coronal mass ejections, which are CMEs, that were blasted toward Earth. CMEs are massive eruptions of solar plasma and charged particles that can produce potentially harmful geomagnetic storms when they hit Earth's magnetic field lines, which we're ex actually experiencing right now, a class G2 one. It says, not scientists closely monitor these events because the most powerful geomagnetic storms can disrupt satellites in orbit, cause communication interference, and damage other electronic infrastructures. But one of the less harmful effects of geomagnetic, geomagnetic storms is that they can amp up normal displays of Earth's auroras, also known as the northern and southern lights. I'm going to show you this picture right here. This is the uh, five eruptions within a 24-hour period. Got one that uh, launched off the top front. Now, based off stereo A, the Earth is going to be on the right side. Stereo B, the Earth's going to be on the on the right. I mean, so on stereo A, which is red, the Earth is going to be on the left. On stereo B, which is blue satellite, the Earth's going to be on the right. But on this first picture right here, the um, the it launched off the top right there, and then the picture number two, it, you know, the top right. And then number three, it launched off the top again. Four, the top again. And number five, it launched off the back side right here. But that was all within a 25-hour period, 24-hour period. But you can see as we're getting hit with more of these solar flares more and more lately, guys, that the, the earthquake activity is increasing more and more. And I, I watch this stuff on a daily basis. I mean, this is like my job. I pay attention to this. So every time we get – we do, I watch the, I get up and watch the, the earthquake activity – it's fine. It's it's. There's a lot of earthquakes on a daily basis now, but every time we get hit with a solar flare, the the earthquakes are so much greater in magnitude and so much more. So I mean, it's 100% fact. Every time we get hit with the solar flares, the earthquakes get stronger and there's a lot more of them. But I just uh, I just want to bring you guys this update and let you guys know what was going on with the solar flares and the earthquake update. 
But I hope you guys had a great weekend. Have a great week, and uh, I guess I'll talk to you all later. See you.